So if I ever said I'm sorry, you'll be fucking, I'll take it back. I'm never missing nothing, cause there's something you fucking like. I got an ounce of power, man, I'm sorry, you're fucking right. It's nice to be your tribe, but now you're nothing but dining mag. If I ever said I'm sorry, you'll be fucking, I'll take it back. I'm never missing nothing, cause there's something you fucking like. I got an ounce of power, man, I'm sorry, you're fucking right. It's nice to be your tribe, but now you're nothing but dining mag. Yo, 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 it's the miggity, 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 miack coming back with the next one, I guess. Look, um, I've been, uh, I got tagged in a post by a friend on Facebook, my man Blake, and um, it's just a short story, a little passage about, um, a few paragraphs about a homeless man who's been shot with rubber bullets and he's in a wheelchair. And he clearly can't get out the area quick enough. And um, they shot him in the face. And the picture shows blood pouring from his face. He's writhing in pain. And uh, the, anyway, I'll get onto this little passage and before I carry on. As I was being arrested for my second day in a row during peaceful protest in support of Black Lives Matter, I decided to continue taking photos until the, next, the last moment before handcuffs were put on me. Very risky, but a necessary move to expose the LAPD's entirely inexcusable use of excessive force, especially in the moments before mass arrests of peaceful protesters. As we were being boxed in on Broadway and Fifth to be arrested, LAP decided that a completely unarmed homeless man in a wheelchair had nothing to do with our protest and some was somehow a threat. They proceeded to inappropriately shoot him with non-lethal rounds directly in the face which is against the proper procedure for firing rubber bullets because they should be fired at your body, not in your face. Uh, the last image is exceptionally heartbreaking for me as you can visibly see the homeless man is in, writhing in pain, screaming as he spews blood from his face moments after getting shot. When people want to be apathetic and or indecisive in fighting against police brutality, against black individuals make them realize that this trickles over and can affect them somehow and regardless if they're black or not this is completely unacceptable the injustice needs to be this this injustice needs to be held accountable for and you need to expose this now i've got the pictures i screenshot the pictures and i've put them up in this video but people need to start understanding this isn't about black white yellow brown this isn't about color this is nothing to do with color this is about police brutality and having to stand up for your civil liberties <sighs> i mean i can understand why people are smashing windows and because because they're 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 just at their wits end with it but What I've noticed is it's predominantly white people that are doing the smashing of windows, the vandalism, the spray painting, and it's that's nothing to do with Black Lives Matter. If white people are fucking smashing the place up, but this poor homeless man has been shot in the face. If you look carefully, you can see the blood trickling from his face. He looks banged up. There's blood all on his hands. There's blood on his legs, like, they've completely fucked him up with a couple of rounds. They, like, these rubber bullets, the proper procedure is they've, they're, they're for body shots. They're, they're a deterrent. They're, they're just meant to hit you, and you're meant to walk, you're meant to, like, run away from the next shot. No, they're firing a sitting duck. Like, this man's in a wheelchair. Like, he can't even get, that, that curb is massive. If I was in a wheelchair, I couldn't get out of that curb. Someone would have to help me. And that everyone's just left him and he's got shot by police. And yet again, just like my last video about the old 75 year old man being um, knocked to the ground and having head trauma, these guy's white as well. So like I was saying, it's nothing to do with race. This is police brutality that it needs to stand up against. It's, it's not a racial thing, so it shouldn't be made out to be one. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get off and um, just get on about with my day. So I hope you have a nice one and keep smashing it. 
So if I ever said I'm sorry, no, but fuck it, I take it back. I'm never missing nothing, cause there's something you fucking lack. If you're not announcing power, then I'm sorry, you fucking whack. If it's next to you, try, but now you're nothing but dining mac. If I ever said I'm sorry, no, but fuck it, I take it back. I'm never missing nothing, cause there's something you fucking lack. If you're not announcing power,